Hey YouTube, it's uh, Outcast here, and just doing my YouTube Orbit video for day 18, and I thought I'd do a quick movie review since uh, in my last video, um, and you can click right here, yes, right there, yeah, over here, no, there, right there, and you can uh, see me talking about, you know, uh, about subscribing to Netflix and how awesome I think it is, and um, Netflix uh, has allowed me to... You know, you, you can stream movies, you can um, even have DVDs sent right to your house. And the movie that, uh, well, the DVD I got, the first DVD on my list was uh, Lawnmower Man. And I thought I'd do a quick review of it and uh, tell you what I thought. And uh, just a little history about the movie. It originally came out in 1992, and it was directed by Brett Leonard. Um, which, Brett Leonard is, I th think he did a fairly, you know, decent job. Um, he did a lot of movies in the 80s, um, you know, uh, he hasn't done a lot, um, at least not anything that did a lot of, uh, uh box office returns, I mean, he did Lawnmower Man, Hideaway, he did Virtuosity, um, and those were, uh, fairly big hits, um. Uh, in the 90s, um, then he, he's done, uh, he did a Peter Gabriel's music video for Play, um, a few other things, Highlander, the so I mean, he's kind of a, um, mediocre, uh, media, uh, I think, I probably think Lot More Man is probably his most well-known movie, um, I would imagine, other than Virtuosity, um, in that regard, but the movie's, uh, stored, uh, Jeff Fahey and Pierce Brosnan, and, Basically, um, it was kind of a. It was really, I, I think it was well done. It's based on the Stephen King book, Long Run Man. It's basically about uh, uh, virtual reality and uh, kind of, um, um, you know, uh, you know how technology is affecting society. And, and even back in 1982, um, you know, the, people could see the influence of technology on society. Uh, back then, uh, for the better and for the worse, and uh, the, um, you know, it, it, it was, it seemed a bit, um, you know, uh, a bit overdone, but <laughs> a bit, a lot of the movies uh, back around that time frame, I imagine, uh, seemed that way, um, but I mean, it, I think the concept was good, um, it was basically, uh, you know, can technology make humanity better? Um, and in this particular movie, uh, the main character Joe um, is friended by uh, Doctor uh, Doctor Angelo, um, and he uh, basically Doctor Angelo uh, wants to make Job smarter because uh, uh, Job is a little uh, mentally challenged, and uh, um, you know, just uh, you know, kind of using the concept of, you know, giving him some, uh, different types of, uh, sub uh, 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 for better words, drugs, and then putting him in this virtual, ra uh, virtual reality environment to modify his brainwave patterns. I, the, the idea of what they actually did is a little far-fetched, but the concept of uh, using technology to help people, uh, with disability or handicap become smarter, um, I think, I actually think it's a really good idea and is actually done today. Uh, not quite in the way Stephen King wrote it, but, uh, you know, um, it's a, I think it's, it was a fairly good, good premise. Don't want to give it a lot away if you haven't seen it. I know it's an older film, but, you know, it's one of those ones that you should see. Um, and, uh, you know, it, uh, it's, I think it's a fairly, it's a fairly good film. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the direction was pretty good. The cinematography could have been better. Um, I did like a lot of the architecture, particularly with inside the VSI building, um, which I'm, I'm very, very much into the minimalistic uh, um, and feature look and feel of uh, architecture, so that kind of appealed to me. Um, but, I mean, the actors, the actors were good. Um, you know, it wasn't like drop down, you know, um, you know, mouth drop open, you know, type of performances. But I mean, it was good for a uh, for a thriller flick, and uh, and you should go, you should see it if you get a chance. 
and uh, yeah, so that's Lawnmower Man in a nutshell. Oh,